Welcome traders to another tick mill earnings report preview with me Patrick Munley. Before we jump into today's report it's important that we adhere to the risk disclaimer the material provided by me is for information purposes only and should not be considered as investment advice. The views, information and opinions expressed by me in this recording are solely mine and they're not indicative or representative of those held by Tickmill UK or Tickmill Europe Limited. Right, let's jump into today's report and we are looking at Apple. Apple are set to release earnings this evening after the New York close. Looking for an earnings per share print here of $1.43 on revenue of $94.03 billion. I would say there is a whisper number on the street that the earnings per share could actually print as high as $1.57. Uh, some of the key metrics to look for in the report uh, tonight are going to be really around Apple's iPhone revenue. iPhone sales are a substantial portion of Apple's revenue and historically have accounted for about half or more of the company's annual revenue. Apple's uh, coming report for fiscal Q1 year includes the November to December holiday sales period. Apple's iPhone sales have often benefited from a strong general retail industrial environment. Uh, during the 2021 holiday shopping season, uh, retail industry sales were up more than 14% year over year to a record 886 billion, according to the National Retail Federation. That strength came despite inflation, supply chain issues, and the pandemic. Apple's iPhone revenue has been more erratic compared with its overall revenue performance in recent years. The company's iPhone revenue declined during six of the eight quarters between uh, financial year 2019 through to uh, fourth quarter 2020. The worst performance during the period was a 20.7% drop in sales uh, during the fourth quarter of 2020. Beginning in the first quarter of 2021, however, iPhone revenue began to rebound. Sales climbed by 17.2% year over year uh, for the first quarter of 2021 and by 65.5%, 49.8% and 47% for the second and third and fourth quarters respectively. Analysts expect a sharp slowdown in iPhone revenue growth for the first quarter of 2022. That rapid growth may be, uh, may be near an end despite record holiday sales for the broader retail industry. Analyst estimates that iPhone revenue grew a scant 4.3% year over year in the first quarter of 2022. That's a quarter of the growth rate compared to the same quarter a year ago. Shortages and delivery delays were a big factor constraining consumer sales, preventing Apple from having the blowout quarter predicted by analysts. Let's take a look at some of the statistical trading patterns that we can expect around the earnings release. The stock has moved higher in the immediate aftermath of earnings, six out of 12 previous reports. On average, the stock moved up 1.2% in the first day of trading after the company reports its earnings. Based on the previous 12 earnings releases, Apple is more likely to trade higher one day after earnings for an average gain of 0.1%. The average post earnings five day performance is 1.8%. In terms of the option markets and implied volatility, options traders are pricing in a 5.9% move on earnings and the stock has averaged a 3.2% move in recent quarters. From a flow and sentiment perspective, there's been some notable buying, uh, 53,421 contracts of the 175 call expiring this Friday. Options order flow uh, sentiment in general though has bearish. Investor sentiment going into the company's earnings release has 71% expecting an earnings beat. Consensus estimates for year over year earnings growth of 2.14% with revenue increasing by 4.96%. Short interest has increased by 12.7% since the company's last earnings release, while the stock has drifted lower by 2.4%. Uh, it's open uh, from its open from its uh, earnings release to be 1.6% above its 200 day moving average at 159.27. So let's take a look at the technical setup now and see where the uh, trading opportunities may be for uh, this coming release. From a technical perspective, Apple, uh, like most uh, tech businesses, has been in a corrective phase. What I'm looking for now is whilst we hold resistance at 179.87, I'm looking for a pullback into this high volume node uh, at 149 and the equality objective 146.97, also the projected. Uh, descending trend channel support here. So I'll be watching for bullish reversal patterns in this area 
to engage on the long side and then we will initially be looking for a retest of the channel resistance up as high as 177. If we can get through there on a closing basis through 180, then we target the next upside objective as 192.66. However, if, uh, if the earnings do come in weaker than expected and we get a negative reaction from the market, any close through 146 will open a move down to test support to 136 as the next downside objective. As always, traders, plan the trade, trade the plan, and most importantly, manage your risk. Until next time, thanks very much.